It's time to fun. Handsome, love it. I know. I was getting I'm getting married. I was gonna I was gonna wait until um basically right before I got married and see if my long hair was looking good. And then if it was looking good, I was gonna keep it for the wedding. But it was looking yeah. like a mullet, so it's just like mm. I was like, I don't wanna have a mullet for my wedding photo. You should have. Think Come on. of what you could tell your kids about that mullet. You yeah. should have got a ponytail. You guys are my kids. A pony. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna grow it out after after the wedding. I'm gonna just let it grow. Uh, let it grow. I, want, I wanted you to be my dad, Dad Demarco. <laughs> Shut it. My name is is Eric. The oh, mode secret out. Mac Demarco's name's Eric. <laughs> oh shit! Don't tell nobody. No, 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 no. Is this going to be a podcast? Dude, we're going to be trending off this juicy secret that we just dropped. Damn, huh? Dude, we're going to be Back on BuzzFeed. Brain story. Yeah, yeah. Brain story, BuzzFeed, boy. Mm-mm. Real star hip hop. What's up? Welcome to Bucky with Rings, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 She said, "Man, wait, where's the other vision? Oh, there we go. So here, here we are, bucking. Dude, yeah, we're bucking hard right now. This is fucking. Dude, we're bucking, bucking so hard right now. We're doing so much. This is fucking crazy, crazy, bro. So, what's what's new?" Eric got a haircut. I get it. Looks good. Well, take off your hat. You don't like it or what? Ooh! But you don't have to take it off completely all the time, all the way. I just want to see what it looks like. What are you thinking, like this? Oh whoa! He's sexy. I love it. I love it, Dad. So what's going on? Not much. Just taught some music lessons today. How about you guys? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we were camping. We just got back right now. We just pretty much drove today. Yeah. Where'd you go? Big Bear. Yeah. Oh, you no, said to Idlewild. Oh, Idlewild. That's right. Yeah, it was chill. You did mushrooms with your dad. It was sad. Nah. Yeah, right. We just ate dumpy ass. Dumpy. It was a freaking dumb. Dad Dad you what say? Your dad cooked? No, my, no, my uncle. uncle. Who does catering? He does catering. Leo? So he cooked. Leo? Huh? Did I say Leo? Uh, no, no, that's cousin. my cousin. Oh, uh, my no, uncle, Jacob. Jacob. He made tacos for our fundraiser that one time? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, he made tacos. My farts smell like the tacos. Dude, those tacos were so bomb. They were so dangerous. Mom. But my Danger. stomach was hurting all the whole weekend. Someone was just hurting. You were at a campground or what? In a tent? You guys were in a tent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me and him, me and Tony stayed in a tent, but he had an RV, but, you know, only so many people can stay in the RV. We should go it was camping. Glamp. Uh, it was a glamping trip. Yeah, yeah, pure glamping. Yeah. It was fun, though. Hell, yeah, it was fun. We were playing cornhole for, like, a whole day. Was it nice up there? Like, the weather was good? It was a little hot, but it was it was good. Pretty dry. Not a lot of people either. Yeah, people are probably. I don't know. There wasn't a lot of people. I took a freaking no. 
There were, I mean, everybody just stayed at their own campsite. Yeah. Um, but both had masks no too one, and shit. Like, yeah, no one's interacting really, like outside of your like little camp. I played a gig the other day. That shit was weird. Oof. But they had a go. They was funny. You know how they have those those plastic shields they put around drum sets? Yeah. They put that around the whole the whole band. Were you playing jazz? Fuck. I was playing jazz. Yeah. And they put it. They put a, a shield around the band. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to protect protect uh, protect everybody from from uh i'm about to get a bubble from everybody from everybody yeah but it was weird man. yeah so it was weird there's just i mean i didn't interact with people but nobody like everyone's just there like not wearing a mask god but we had the scary we had the mm-hmm. shield at us and we didn't like yeah yeah the shield we didn't get around we didn't get near anybody so it was like but still. yeah chill no it's very strange it's acting like it's there's nothing happening and it's just getting worse yep mm-hmm. a lot of places opening up fucking are getting that's the outbreak. american way <laughs> land of the fee <laughs> it must have just got to a point where they're like well our profits are going down so fuck it let's just let people die Right? Literally, yeah. full yeah, already right. been saying that. It's fucking yeah. Up. Wow. Yep. You know. Yep. Money is is not more important than people. Sorry. Sorry, America. Straight up. I had to say it. Straight so, up. Stop being a caca head and stop being racist. And wear your damn mask, damn it. And wear a mask, damn it. Don't politicize it. a disease. Fucking Karen's out here oh. not wearing masks at Walmart, screaming and yelling. Or when you wear your mask like this with, with your nose out. Oh, my God. I saw, someone, <laughs> I saw someone wearing their mask. Wait, this is a, just a towel. But I saw someone wearing their mask like, like this. <sighs> I was like, these people. How is that? Don't you get? Don't people don't? I don't understand. I don't understand. It's, it. it's not logic. What do they know? They don't get it about, That's right. about the mask. They're they're just like everybody. Just like used to doing whatever they want when they want. So they're like starting to have fits because they can't do that. So they're just being reckless now. Yeah, because of capitalism, we're. That's how we're, what everybody's used to, and we can't can't do it you don't but you don't have the discipline to not you know live to, live in a different way so fools are just all burnt fudge the state of the world today don't cry i know huh don't uh, get it? a mask is a metaphor nobody exactly <laughs> that's from the mask you remember that when uh, Ooh, uh, masks. The mask is a metaphor. <laughs> You're done. You're done. That was a deep uh, cut. That was a deep. I used to. Well, that was like the only. I didn't have that many. That many movies. I had, oh, really? Like, oh, I see. I had such a random assortment of movies when I was young, like VHSs. The mask. VHS game was. Art? I was going Art. to. Because dad would get it's just like me. Yeah. We had like every but it, I, we loved. I was just like, but I'm just saying like now, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't even have to have anything physical to watch these things. Like oh, you, no, have you just gotta computer, have a computer. You stream it or whatever. Yeah. And it's just so crazy. Like I was going through my grandma's cassette tapes, like video cassettes, and they're just so huge. Wow. And the quality is just like all like you know what I mean? Like from then to now, and it's just like, damn, cassettes were really, they were really trying to do it then. So much plastic, so much. Yeah. Like the quality is all like well, the tracking is all it's still analog over time. <laughs> that was before it became the analog ones. I was, talking, I was talking to my student today. I was like, I was like, what, what music do you listen to? He's like, he's like, oh, I don't know. Just like whatever. And I'm like, like you don't know what you listen to? I'm like, what the f- what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I went on a date with a girl that said that to me once too. I I felt exactly the same. Yeah, I told him to get Shazam and like listen like Shazam one of her songs. I was like, well, if you don't know what it is, just Shazam it and then see what it is, so you know what you're listening to. And then he's like, like, you have every single song on the freaking planet on YouTube and all this shit and you could listen to anything you want and you're just like oh no oh, I don't know like no, I'm just not into it I guess yeah I don't know but anyway hopefully, hopefully, he, doesn't, that hopefully he doesn't watch this <laughs> I don't think he will <laughs> learn how to love music damn it yeah I guess I should inspire right, him to like music right send him shit yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start sending him stuff to listen to. But that's all, all, yeah. all it takes is that one band or whatever that really, like, hits you. And then you then you start yeah. having that relationship with it. I played Max Roach for him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He didn't like Max Roach. So like, uh, what is he trying to play, Jazz? Like, <laughs> Um, he's trying. He he was uh, trying to play in drumline. So oh, I okay. Him. Oh, okay. I got. I helped him. I helped him get onto the drumline. He got. He like auditioned or whatever, and he got in. Oh, so, yeah. But now I'm trying to like play, have him play jazz and stuff, and yeah, get into like other music. That's just weird. Or just something else. I, I don't know, man. I just I can't like. I was always just obsessed with like, going to the music, like going to a CD store or whatever, or like going. Yeah. Like, Shit. Me stuff. too, dog. Whenever my, my whenever we go on vacation with my dad, we would always be like, uh-huh. where's, the, "Where's the where's the record store?" We would like yeah, on vacation mm-hmm. we would like go find a record store and like buy CDs and go look at Jack. Dude, I don't remember that CDs. feeling. Oh shit, Jack! Did you not turn this one? Yeah, I get all hyped. Yeah, that's that's the I think that's the magic quality of the the physical copy of the music. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I have so many freaking CDs getting all crunched up. I know, and your CDs suck though. I, I'm joke joke. I'm gonna say it. never not break. Like this, it just I'm, breaks. I'm glad <laughs> CDs are not it anymore. <laughs> CDs if, are whack. What if what if in like ten years, like CDs have like a big old comeback? Oh, you know, you know, it's gonna happen. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. dirty. But it's not like vinyl though. That's like all they all do, they recycle the old shit. CD CD quality is not as good as vinyl. No, no, not at all. Negatory. So we had um. So um, we we haven't really talked about what we've been doing, like with you know. I know. Like uh, like we put out the free your mind song. Thank you to everybody who donated. Oh yeah, that. dude, that was pretty. That was awesome. The timing for that was was good. I'm glad we jumped on it. Yep. Shout out to Tony for spearheading the the operation. Yep. Black Lives Matter. And everybody who donated. What else? What else? We put out Runaway as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Been getting some good feedback from that. That was fun. Rainy. It's coming on the the compilation, the Big Crown with the uh, tribute to Sunny. Sunny Ozuna is pretty important, I have to say like his his what he did to like you know to contribute to the the culture is pretty significant yeah because he's like he's like does the soulful thing and then he does the tejano shit and then it's just like he has like a lot of music that, yeah even and, and too it's crazy like you can't really find like he's he's definitely a youtube artist like you look yeah. him up on like not spotify gonna be you're gonna find some some stuff but uh, his, you gotta yeah. find it he has some he has some good shit out there i feel like youtube is kind the of compilation is dope i heard the compilation oh you did yeah you what were you gonna say oh i was just saying i feel like youtube is really good for music i don't really I feel like you guys you guys yeah do i use like spotify but i think i feel like youtube yeah i, don't know. I use spotify like, more now it depends some once in in a while i'll still run into shit i like on youtube and try to look it up on spotify but it doesn't doesn't exist there so there's still like yeah. even more random 
jams and shit that are on YouTube. She can't find them on Spotify. One thing that sucks about YouTube is they don't they don't let you play it in the background. I know it's so freaking. Annoying. Unless you pay for the service, you have to pay. You pay for, for the service, they do. Yeah, I'm on a free. But also, about. like their algorithms, like what they suggest to you is kind of weak. You know, they just tell you they just like start playing the same old stuff that you yeah. have all the time. Spotify is Bill kind of kind of cooler. Kind of blue. Curtis. Yeah. Built. Like what? I like all that music, but I already heard it a million times. The Discover Weekly. I've heard some good shit on there. Yeah. On what? On the oh, this Discover, Discover Weekly. Weekly. Yeah. yeah. But it gets all when I was teaching a lot, it would get all jacked up because I would listen to like just like trash. Uh. I'm teaching my like. I have like my students. Yeah. Like, I wanna I wanna do uh, Imagine Dragons, and then I'd be like, they're like mess my algorithm. Oh, you're. <laughs> your feed is all imagine dragons <laughs> no Whatever that there. would kill me please no, like, no. Oh, God. yeah that's why you gotta have youtube to let put all the trash there and keep your spotify pure <laughs> well i'm not teaching that much anymore though yeah uh, no if anybody's out there wants to get a bass lesson i'm gonna start that up again Oh, here comes uh, Tony. Three? Now it's my turn to teach, dog. It's my. So first you play bass, and then you get blowed. <laughs> the end, and that's how you play bass. Yeah, bass lesson right now. Oh, bass I'll, lesson now. I'll give you the same lesson that Nick Mofshaw fucking told me. All you gotta do is listen to James Brown. Like the first thirty seconds of each of his really good songs, and that's it. Bass <laughs> after. <laughs> that's what he told me, though. That's what he told me. Like it feels that easy. I'm pretty sure if you did do that, you might. It you might work. Some tight shit. I know it works. Yeah, great. but he's amazing. Well, I mean, yeah, the the bass shout out to Nick. stays the same the whole time. The little variations and stuff. The little variations is what variations where all the gold. We should we yeah. should talk to Nick. Somebody somebody commented that on one of the on one of the YouTube. I would love to on the Tommy one. Oh really that. on YouTube? Yeah, someone someone was like on the Tommy. Someone t- commented on the Tommy one. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone commented on the Tommy one. They were like, "You guys shouldn't interview Nick or something." Or like, "When you guys calm yeah, down." Nick? That'd be fun. I bet he has a good story. Hell yeah, he does. He does. He's told me some gold nuggets before. That he's funny. Yep. Inspiration. Shout out to Nick. Hell yeah. Like I'm trying to learn all your bass lines, dog. Oh, that's nice. It's true though. Wow. Listen to that pretty good. That's nice. Damn, yeah, that shit's tight. Yep. That's tight. Oh, so tight. We need to get freaking Homer. Come on, Homer. Come on, Homer. I know you're Come watching. On, Homer. I know you're one of the 50 viewers on this. Come on. <laughs> ah, Mogert. <laughs> Mogerty. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to play shows again, huh? God, please, Tom. Tell me when. It's so weird. The world is so weird. What's gonna happen? Like to anybody? I don't know how is it. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when we do play shows again. Yeah. Well, if there's like a, I'm a different person. Yeah, definitely. I feel like the world is like if we we were all married to somebody and then they were just cheating on us the whole time and then it turned out they were cheating and you already knew but no one said anything. Now the cat's out the bag. You still got to be in your marriage, but it's all like, you cheated on me. Mm-mm. You know? So like, <laughs> That's fucked up. So I'm That's like, so dude, I don't but... trust anybody. I don't even know who to trust anymore. Like, I don't want, I'm over it. Like, dude, because there's so many people just not, still not giving a fuck about anybody. Well, we're just we're lucky, man. That if this if this coronavirus shit was like way deadlier, you know, 
We would, oh God, we would all be dead. Yeah, we would be so fucked because the leadership in this country is just so whack. Like, there's just no leadership. Non-existent. And Non-existent. All, yeah, no. all they're thinking about is getting reelected and how 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 it looks or whatever. If the economy's good, it's like if there was like a real. It's all bullshit, anyways. Though I mean, it's all bullshit. Sure. It's super deadly, but it's half like, of. Sorry, go ahead. No, go. No, I was just go gonna ahead. say like. If it was like a bowl of virus or some shit where it was like you're like guaranteed to die, like we would be fucked. Cause like, oh hell yeah, we'd Trump be all dead, dog. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Kevin? <laughs> no, just like even just like yeah, economy looks good or I mean half of the shit he he says or is being said about him is just like bullshit anyways. Like it's not even yeah, like. By this point, if you don't see the damage that's been done to the American people at this point, like you're either delusional or you're just tripping. You don't want to look at it. Yeah. You're like not trying to look at the damage. Like the real, it's, it's like really, the, ever since this fool came in, it's just been really traumatic for the whole damn country. I don't know. I don't know. That's how I feel. It's about been it, forever, right? but I think. Yeah, it's at been this point, forever. They're putting so much salt the wound into the is so wound. fresh. Like, you can't, like, all this fucked up racial evil bullshit that's been going on forever to all kinds of fools, but especially black people. They're putting so much salt in the wound that it's like, I can't even take it. Because, you know, what's yeah. happening polit- politically is definitely, like, a sign that, oh, widespread mysticism is still alive and powerful, still controls everything, and it's still fucked up and people are still being persecuted falsely you know but we're just in quarantine so the government is not really giving us much and so people now have the space to look at you know to look at all the nasty shit that's been happening to us and to you know into black people and to all of these uh, marginalized groups that just you you're not even supporting us in any way and you're gonna still bring this old, this old bullshit that you're always doing to the people, like, and do it more. Like, people are just, you know, that's why I said, like, you found out your wife, you finally confronted your wife, cheated on you. That's how I feel. Like, yeah. All right. At least I'm not the only one who thinks this shit is whack as fuck and has always been. But what do I do it's now? It's out like, on the table. Yeah. 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 How am I gonna ever break those or night. like? You know, what about the school? Like, there's so many things that are just... Layers. So it's just failed every way. Yeah. Fuck. Yep. Shit is... Mm-hmm. That was well said, Tony. That was good. Sorry. Bravo. I don't, I don't... Yeah. For sure. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just, it's just hard to even be like, um, you know, because the hustle of being, the, you know, the music shit, it keeps you like needing to talk about what you're doing and blah blah blah, you know, and yeah, it, you know, keep keeping people engaged in it. It's it's just so increasingly harder and harder to like really give a fuck. You know what I mean? Unless it's actually helping something, you know, like yeah, it's just hard Having to a like, purpose. I don't towards know. Towards our kinda, collective pain. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly that. And and then, but but it's just so weird to me how like as an artist, you you have to. I mean, we're still coming up, and like we have to be pushing our shit and talking about ourselves and all this shit and it's just like this is so like besides the point the point of (laughs) what the like it's just so it's just so weird that as artists we're put in that position yeah you know what i mean like like i guess i guess that's just like the capitalistic part about it you know that makes it weird and convoluted in like you know self righteousness or whatever or, or promotion shit. self-promotion self-promotion and shit and I, I get it you know what i mean like i get it but like right now that all this shit's happening it's just so hard to even 
give a fuck about that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's been really difficult for me to like, you know, get back to normal or get back to how could you like the hustle of it? Like, how can we like? We already found out too much. Yeah. Like there. I mean, I guess it's just like now. It's just now adapting, you know, and yeah. adapting our biz and our frame of mind into a different place, you know, a more collective place where it's not yeah. like, you know, oh, I got to, yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like it. the COVID was good in the sense that it slowed everybody down to a different pace. And I think it caused a little bit more refl- reflection for people, yeah. but like, which was good, but then all this other racial shit, you know what I mean? That's already popping been off popping off forever. That's been, that's been, but like they put us you in, know. in that situation where they're they're fucking us up too much, to where people are gonna start being active about stopping it. Yeah, I really hope we can continue to do that, and you know, again, like being an artist in this time, like we have, there's some kind of responsibility that we take and like Spider-Man, you know, nourishing the minds of people, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, you know, I don't know. I just been thinking about different ways that we could just now orientate our, our creativity towards, you know, the bigger picture. Cause you know, we're all, you know, we're all trying to, build our own lives up with our artistry and, and, you know, it, it gets self-centered, you know, like it gets yeah. like, you know, you're just like, Oh, I got to hustle for my family or, you know, like yeah. you got to do your thing, you know, which is like normal, but it's just weird now because it's like, now we just know like it's our responsibility as the people, yep. the government is not, they're not doing shit. The side of the people. Yeah. They're well, not doing how, shit. That's how the they're system kinda, in America makes you feel is like, uh, like, mm-hmm. like you're all on your own and you have to remember mm-hmm. that like there's so many of us and there's so few of like the rich you know like the top one yeah or whatever mm-hmm. you know, like we have to like band together and, and be strong you know it's like can't forget yeah. that it's easy, it's easy like with especially with like phones and like being at home all day it's like you feel like you're alone it's like you gotta remember you know yeah that's where the power yeah. is be part of it honestly that's where i feel like the hope is because like you look mm-hmm. to the government and or you know there's not really that much hope there that anything is gonna not at all you know it's it's all gonna come from people people are gonna have to educate themselves each other and you know i trust fucking whatever whoever's the out there to fucking do that way more than than the government would so if the if the ball is in the hands of the people yeah. then I, I have more faith in people i see people i've seen people change and do good things where the government's always been the same you know just like white supremacy has yeah. been the same old freaking kkk clan meeting the goal you know, has been the same all same the FBI, values have been the same. cia all that freaking crap and you know people but people can do things and people can love each other and they can do, you know, they have transformed. So I just got more faith in them at least. Because mm-hmm. it's yeah. just transforming me, you know, for sure. I think okay. it's painful, but for the better that I'm confronting things that I already know exist and I have to blank out in order to like continue, you know? Yeah. So it's like, it's a very, tough way to grow but you're still growing yeah yeah you know that's that's where the hope is in inside of us because we got the power to do that yeah that's true you know these fools have never done it ever since the beginning very beginning of everything colonies and shit 13 colonies it's crazy it's yep. crazy. It's gone so far. It's super far, Duddy. That's why we got a reality TV star in this, as a president. Like, think about that. So insane. This whole, and two, 
no, a lot of people aren't thinking about the fact that his show is scripted. His show's dud is not real. That shit's on TV. It's not real. There's been all kinds of freaking allegations that came out about his show. Yeah. That's, you know, that is fake. Everybody knows it, and they still believe it. I mean, everybody... Yeah, like, reality TV, come on. Like, like, but that's America. It seemed real when the real world came out in, like, 1990 or whatever. You know what I mean? It seemed real, but that shit was never real. Reality TV in general. It's, like, the worst... That shit, that shit to me is like reality TV is like the bottom of the barrel of culture. Oh yeah, dude, that's the t- most blackest shit. Well, just you that watch you could it creatively you, put your energy. You just into. get sucked in, and you're just like, uh, not like literally just a zombie. Well, that's what what happened with that is uh, with the reality TV when it got really big, is there was a writer strike, and oh yes. all the writers, all the writers were on strike, so. So the this the networks were like, okay, we need some bullshit that we can make without writers. So they just make stupid reality TV shows. Yeah, that's why it came. Wow. Or like, it's just yeah, but it's like, dude, if you put a camera in front of somebody, like they're not gonna just act normal, like you know. And it's all edited too. Yeah, like, they edit. The yeah, shit hell yeah. I've heard I've heard that on those shows, like someone could be the nicest person. And they can just like chop it up and edit it like in a, in a way to edit make, it. Yeah, just make a story because it's like you watch that shit and it's like there's like a, a story arc to it. And you're like, like how often does you just just like a normal ass day like have a story arc to it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, or a crisis or some kind of. Yeah, it's like there's no <laughs> like like I went to the mall and like you know it's just like I went to- most days are just pretty like yeah boring like yeah. Just trying to, yeah. It's so yeah, I saw this uh, document. I, I saw this lecture from Kurt Vonnegut, and he was talking about storytelling and types of stories. And you know, he went through like, yeah, that that story that has the arc, and you know what I mean, or the story that it starts out, you know, the the yeah, main the character's one. here, it goes up here, and stays there forever, happily ever after shit. Yeah. And he was like, a, a story like Hamlet, like, let's look at that story and let's see the arc of that story, and that story just goes down yeah like it and it doesn't really really go you know what i'm saying like and he's like well but that's like a world-renowned story story, you know what i'm saying like it's he's like there's different ways to tell the story we are just fed to this same old story that it's actually not real like molded weird you know what i mean like he's like you've heard this same old story where somebody gets successful and then they live happy ever after whatever bullshit like the real dope stories have just like a flat line, yeah. really. You know what I mean? And it's just like yeah. leaves you to contemplate whatever it yeah. is that was. That's on the how table. a lot of writing used to be. I was watching this uh, this thing about Pink Floyd, about Dark Side of the Moon, uh-huh. and Ro- they were talking to Roger Waters, and he was mm-hmm. I forget what song he was talking about, but he was saying something about like how all your life, like going through school, they're talking about like how like oh, like, you're going to prepare for your life when you're older, like, and, and you're going to, like, you know, you got to go to school and do all this bullshit and blah, 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 and then, and then, you know, then you're going to have this great life, and it's, like, and he was just talking about how, like, like, when you, you like, get, get sucked into that mindset, and, like, you forget to just live your life, like, and, yeah, you know what I mean? You're always preparing, yeah, and I was realizing I was doing that, like, with, I was thinking, like, with like practicing music and like working on music i was like i was like oh yeah someday i'm gonna like do this shit or whatever on the you know blah blah blah. thinking like yeah always thinking that way and i'm like i'm like oh i'm doing it right now this is my life you know this is it's happening right yeah now. yep weird just had that it's true though it's almost like it, i think about like dreams i was like dude my dream is to do I had all these dreams my whole life, like, I want to go to New York and play jazz, and do, 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 do. but, like, actually, I was playing jazz the whole time, and the journey was what was important, is where I was at, and now I know that, and that's, I can bring it to, like, this is not a dream, I, I just got to play and practice and do it, and, yep. uh, you know, now where we're, we're, uh, where we're at, which is, like, I never thought I would ever tour, or, yeah, I I think there's a syndrome to in institutions like church and you know and and life like 
the institution is always like hanging your dreams in front of you and acting like, you know what I mean? There's some kind of, um, you know, success story that's going to make your life better. Like getting success, you look at the artists that got successful or whatever. Most of the time that shit made their life harder, (laughs) you know, because of things that, you know, that are actually really happening before their success that are making their success like, you know, sometimes it's painful traumas or shit like that. And then they get successful and then they fuck it all up because, you know what I mean? What was, what was really mattering, what really matters in our life isn't really institutionally like held up to be like yeah. in reality Important. as it is, you know? Yeah. yeah. They kind of play off our dreams in this society like they play off your dreams they're playing yeah it's like everybody off of their desires it's the american in front of you like but it's just exactly you you think about that you just think that you you just keep thinking that you'll just put up with the pain and put up with the bullshit and then someday it'll be like this magical thing that's all of a sudden you're gonna be happy but it's like it doesn't work yeah and it's the same thing with like heaven too like they'll like you know they'll say Mm -hmm. oh yeah be good all your life and and just be you know do what you're told and and follow these rules and then you're gonna have paradise after you're dead and it's like then you're not trying to be happy like during your life and you're just thinking now yeah just 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 now yeah yeah that's i feel like with the with the with the quarantine shit it's been like it's like dude i just need to like there's like issues man i gotta freaking fix personal shit yeah and yeah and and then like the country too you know it's like like this whole racism thing is Mm -hmm. like it has to end man it needs to stop yeah Yeah. like this is just going on long it's just yeah it's crazy like because it's it's like people have been living with it for so long like in this country it's like so ingrained into everybody yeah but like stevie wonder did some like he did a little had some comments on it and he's like if life ends so can this shit because everything has an end he like quote he like quoted him one of his yeah visions one yeah Yeah. visions and like and and that shit was like so simple but it was just like damn because i I felt like man this shit's never gonna change yeah you know what i'm saying like fuck it's never you know it was built on this shit as long as they got their guns to defend it like you know what i mean like you know but you know just simply put it putting it that way like if you or me or anybody can die which everybody will die yeah then why can't this shit die like there's no reason why that shit can't die yeah you know what i mean and i'll and and I don't know, sometimes I get trippy and I'm just like, you know, it's just a tactic that the American, America has used against, you know, brown and black people all of our lives. Yeah. So we accept it as it, but yeah. it could, it could actually already be dead, really. Yeah. But, you know, you have, you know you know, you have this, the state of what it is yep. today that makes you think that it's, that it's really well, rampant. These, and, these and, are, and it is. These fools are trying to hold on, really. They're scared. They're trying to hold on. That's yeah. why they're acting all crazy. And, you know, murdering people. Pretty much, they're murdering people. We just got to keep staying positive. Yep. Power. And, and keep looking at, you know, keep your eye on the prize. Do the right thing, Power. you know. Power's in the people. Power is in the people. Self reflect. All right, signing off. Later, dudes. Black Lives Matter. Story. Black Lives Matter. Love you guys. Black Lives Matter. Later, Mogard. <laughs> oh crap.